What's up, Peak Timers? Phil here from Peak Time Racing. Today, we're unboxing the newest Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious set. On the back of each of the cards, you can see all of the cars that are included, as well as the movie that the car was featured in. Car number 105 is the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Trino, and this was featured in the Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift movie. Let's go ahead and open it. And this has a really cool metallic gray color on it, and it's got some really tiny wheel tire combination on there, but that is period correct for this type of car. We have some fender flares on there in a gloss black. The headlights on the front of them are popped up. Great detail for all of the lights on the front end as well, as well as on the side. You can see it's even got the markings for the door. We got some nice blacked out window tint, great detail on their rear end. We got the single exhaust on the rear end. And if we look on the bottom, we do have a black base on here. And there you can see those real rider tires on there. But overall, it's a great looking design, very, very clean looking car. And I really like this one. Car number two of five is the Ford RS 200, which was featured in Fast and Furious, the fourth iteration of the movie. Let's open it. And this one in its classic white, it is a gloss white color and these wheels look so, so good on it. Really, really liking that. The front end of this car is so unique as well as the rear end. It's just a really, really unique design car that we really haven't seen much of. Even on the top right there, I'm not too sure what to call that, but it's got some sort of like, like a light bar or some sort of feature on the top of it. You guys can correct me in the comments on what exactly that is, but great detail front and back, very clean on the sides. The wheel is just perfect for this car. I think this is a great, great car. And I think it's underrated for what it is. If we look at the bottom of it, we can see it's got that gloss black base with my fingerprints all over it. We do have the real riders on there as well as you can see, but overall super clean, super, super nice. The Ford Escort RS 200. Car number three of five is the 1970 Plymouth AAR Cuda from Fast and Furious 6. Let's open it. <laughs> And these Cudas were my favorite generation of muscle cars back in the 70s and the, well, the 60s and early 70s. I really, really like the Cudas. I think they're a really, really cool design. The AAR ones are really nice. So this one is all a gloss black and it's got like some metallic to it. It almost looks like a really dark gray in some areas, but it is black. And then it does have a matte finish on the hood. So it's a black matte finish hood. These tires and wheel combination, look at that. These wheels are so cool. They are just perfect for this car. I'm not too sure. Have we seen these wheels before? Maybe we have. I think we've seen these wheels, but maybe in a little bit bigger. We do have Cuda and AAR on the back end right there. And we have Plymouth written on the back with the lights. Great detail on the front and rear, of course. Just an overall fantastic looking Cuda. Very, very blacked out. It kind of looks like a chase car, but obviously the Fast and Furious Premium Series doesn't have any chase cars, but just a really, really cool looking muscle car. Car number four of five is the Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32, and this is from Furious 7. Let's open it. This one also very blacked out, super nice looking color. These wheels look fantastic on here. If we look on the back end, we can see those nice lights that are stamped properly. Super clean, gloss black all around. The front end is just done perfect. I, I think they've redone the front lights. I think they look a little bit better than they used to on the previous castings. The Even the tires and the wheels, they look like they're almost widened a little bit, which is super, super cool. Just overall, just a very, very clean car. Again, this one also a blacked out car. It looks like a chase car. It is actually, we have three blacked out cars in this set, but you know what? For Fast and Furious cars, there's a lot of black cars, but looking on the bottom of the car, you can see it's a nice matte black finish. You can see those nice slick real riders on there, but overall just a fantastic design car. Loving the detail, loving the cleanness of this car. Just a great addition to this set. Car number five of five is the 2003 Honda NSXR, and this is from Furious 5. Let's open it. And there is our third black car from this set, but hey, I am not disappointed. I think they look fantastic. These wheels, again, same wheels that we had on the RS200 as well as the GTR. 
but this one again in that clean clean looking glossy black finish look at the detail of that like it looks like a light bar on the back but it's not exactly it's more reflectors with the lights on the sides of it we have the license plate on it as well we have the honda logo on the front end and in case you're wondering a lot of people from north america are confused why it's the honda nsx and not the acura nsx well Acura only exists in North America. Outside of North America, they call everything Honda. So this one is a Honda NSX in Europe, Honda NSX in Asia, and the rest of the world. It's just only Acura in North America. But doesn't really matter. The car itself is exactly the same. The Honda NSX R was a great addition to the Fast and Furious movies, and this one looking. In addition to our new Fast and Furious set right below here, I've got a bunch of premium Hot Wheels Fast and Furious cars that are part of my collection. We'll have a quick look at some of the most iconic ones. We'll start it off with probably our most iconic two cars right here from our original Fast and Furious movie. We've got the Toyota Supra right here, which is obviously Paul Walker's or Brian O'Connor's. Same with the Eclipse right here, the 10 second car that got blown up in the first Fast and Furious movie. Two very, very iconic Fast and Furious cars. We'll put those ones back and then we will grab some of the other ones that are very iconic like our Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Absolutely amazing looking car. Very, very iconic from the Fast and Furious movies, especially in that livery. And then Fast and Furious did something a little crazy, or sorry, Hot Wheels did something a little crazy. They flipped the livery on to the Supra. They also did that with the Supra livery that they put on to the Skyline. I don't have, actually I do have that one right here. There you go. There it is right there. So you can see the two liveries that they did, how they flipped them. Kind of interesting. What do you guys think of that? Do you, do you like it? The livery is cool. I just, I don't know. I don't know if it suits it very well. Uh, some of the other iconic cars we have are these two right here. The Honda S2000, so that's Suki's Honda S2000 from Too Fast, Too Furious. And then we have the uh, Johnny Trans S2000 from the original Fast and Furious movie. So two very, very iconic Fast and Furious Honda S2000s. Put those ones back. We've got also Dom's RX-7 from the first movie, which is a very, very cool RX-7. I feel like RX-7s don't get enough love. I feel like a lot more people should be more into the RX-7s as they are right now but still very very cool car Dom's obviously Dom's Charger which is super iconic of a car very 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 nice we've got lots of different variations of this car released into the Hot Wheels line uh, one of the other iconic cars that I really really love this is the uh, Buick Grand National or GNX from the Fast and Furious 4 movie so the opening scene when they had this car race down one of the coolest opening scenes if you haven't seen the fourth Fast and Furious movie you should watch it just watch the opening scene it's just so so cool how this car does just I mean I won't ruin it for you if you haven't seen it but you gotta go watch it or go watch it again if you haven't seen it for a while but the Buick Grand National my dad had one of these growing up so I drove one of these a lot so it really means a lot to me so really really cool cars but just so many different cool and iconic fast and furious cars i mean hey let's not even forget the jetta jesse's jetta from the first fast and furious movie that's a very very iconic car very very popular in the hot wheels line as well there is actually a new uh kind of a mainline variation a mainline set which i'm trying to get my hands on and we'll unbox that one in the future and that one has a non-premium variation of this car which is kind of cool so that'd be cool to open up and look at eventually but what do you guys think what is your favorite fast and furious car that i have behind me and what do you think of the new fast and furious set